Hello and welcome to the Dutch In Channel. It's Tuesday morning, the 2nd of April 2024, just approaching half past nine. And we're going to do the second video of the day. This time it's going to be the selections for Ludlow, six race card, first race, two o'clock. We've already put up Pontifract. And then we've got the all weather meeting for later on. So the first race, only two go to post here. We've got a non-runner in current mood that run yesterday. And I'm going to be using Smarkets today, just so a, a difference you can see how all these sites are and how they work. You can see this figure in the right-hand corner, which is what I've got left out of £500 that I staked yesterday and had a disaster. But that's life. So we're going to look at our number one selection of two runners, which is Teresa. This is the colours I put up there for my top selection, just in case you want to know what that indicates. And Teresa at the moment, well, this is trading at 1.29. I mean, the over round's perfect to bet in that race. So 129 would be the price, the stake. Maximum, couldn't put 77 on it, so the maximum would be £50. And that would be the only bet in the first race. Let's go and have a look at the second. This is a novice, or mayor's novice's hurdle. There's two non-runners, Get Sky High and Crystal Glance. That's leaving now field of six. And in this second race, we've got Easy Peasy as our top selection. The reason I haven't got a photo of, or a, an image of the top one here is because this race has literally just changed. So that's why there isn't one at the moment. So Easy Peasy will be our top selection. And we'll go into Smarkets. And easy peasy is trading easy peasy at 1.81. So this is going to be another race of odds on. Maximum stake of £50. And that would be it in the second race. Then we're going back into the racing post. We'll come down to the three o'clock this time, where all seven go for a handicap hurdle. Actually, more, one of their more attractive races on the card today by looking at it. Right, uh, number one selection here would be Tedley. And we'll go back into Smarkets again. And Tedley, this one is trading currently at 7.2. So stakes of £13.89 would return £100. And our second selection is El Saviour. And El Saviour, that is favourite, currently at 2.74. And would require stakes of 36.50, but the most we got is 36.11, so that's still going to be good enough. Right, El Savia, 36 pounds and 11 pence, times 2.74. Would return us £98.94. And the other one running for us is Tedley. And this would return £100. Now we're going into the 3.30. And non-runner here is Jet Plane. That leaves four. So if you're betting in this race, remember to do win only. And our selection here is going to be George's Saint. 
That's our number one selection. So we'll go into the 330 here. And George's Saint is currently 3.8. And stakes of £26.32 would return £100. And our second selection is Kestrel Valley. And Kestrel Valley, that is favourite at 3.4 and we can't do 29 pound 41 but we can do 23.68 so that would be our only other selection in this race so kestrel valley 23 pound 68 times 3.4 will give us a return of 80 pounds 51 so a 30 pound profit there and George's Saint would return £100. And this time we're going back into the Racing Post. And it's a four o'clock race. And seven go to the post here for another handicap hurdle. And our number one selection is Royal D side. Royal D side. Into Smarkets. And the fourth. Was it? Yep, the four o'clock. And Royal D side is currently the second favourite. This is trading at 3.8. Stakes of £26.32 would return £100. And our second selection is going to be Passing Kate. And Passing Kate third in at 5.1. And stakes of £19.61 would return £100. And our third selection would be Fort Nelson. And Fulk Nelson is the outsider, and that is currently 80. And stakes of £1.25 would return us £100. And that's going to leave in the kitty £2.83. And our fourth selection is going to be Balhambar. Bauhambar just happens to be the favourite at 2.84. So the calculator out on this one, we've got Bauhambar, we're going to say 2.84 is the SP, and times this by, didn't have a lot, I know that, let's have a look. £2.83, which I didn't change, so that is how much stake is going to go on this one. And this will equal £8.03 return on Bow Hambar, so not a lot there. But if you look through the results of yesterday, you'll see I had 11 of these results where my last selection wins. And we know from future reference that even if your bottom selection wins, it's something back rather than nothing. So I looked at that yesterday and thought to myself, well, if they had have all won as a £100 return one, I would have got 514 quid back. And of course, if you don't bet them at all the last selection, then you're a fool not to do it because it, it does make a lot of sense. So anyway, £8.03 return on Bauhamba. And the three going for us is Royal D-Side, Passing Kate and Fulk Nelson. One of those will return £100. And now we're going to go into the last race. It's uh, As I said, it's a quick card there. There's only six, six races on that and we've got a six runner race in the last the hunters chase which i don't like but i couldn't find any reason 
not to bet in it. I had me form and ratings for every horse. And number one selection I've got is Senior Citizen. Again, you can see that I haven't got no image next to there because this race has just changed as well. So we'll go into Smarkets for the last time. We're going to see the senior citizen. This is currently 6.6 .6 and stakes of 15 pound, 15 pence would return 100 pounds. And the second selection is before midnight. And before midnight, that's currently second favorite, trading at 3.5. And stakes of £28.57 would return £100. And our third selection is Iskander Pesos, which is the favourite at 1.75. But unfortunately, just like I had a habit of yesterday, this is going to be the last selection, and all you can afford on this is £6. 28 pence and it is the odds on favorite so we've got 6.28 or six pound 28 times the odds of 1.75 would return you 10.99 so again better than nothing and we've got two running for us and they are sitters say that again senior citizen and before midnight, one of those two will return you £100. And Ik Kanda Pesos will return you £10.99. So that's the last race. We're going to do a quick recap on Ludlow. Race one, the two o'clock. One selection here, Teresita. And that's that. In the 2.30, we just got one again, easy peasy, just the one selection there. Then into the 3 o'clock, we've got one selection, which is Tedley, will return £100, and El Savia will be the second selection, or the lower return selection. The 3.30, we just got one here as well, that's George's Saint. And Kestrel Valley will return the lower amount. Into the four o'clock, we've got three running for us. Royal D-Side, Passing Kate and Fort Nelson. And Bell Hamber will be the lower amount return. And in the last race, we've got Senior Citizen and Before Midnight. One of those two will return £100. And the lesser amount will be for Iskander Pesos. So that's the card at Love, though. Nothing, no great shakes there today, I don't think, by looking at that card. But that's all done, and I'll return for the results show this evening, and let's hope we can all have a good day.